Dealing with disrespect is often one of life's most formidable challenges. It has the potential to stir up feelings of anger, pain, and frustration, prompting us to react impulsively in ways we may later regret. Nevertheless, there exists a method to handle disrespect with elegance and composure, and that method draws inspiration from the teachings of Stoicism. This ancient philosophical tradition emphasizes the importance of maintaining one's composure, interpreting the disrespectful actions of others as a reflection of their character, rather than allowing it to govern our own emotional responses. Remarkably, this approach may even lead the person who has shown disrespect to acknowledge their mistake, even if they do not openly admit it. While following these steps, it is essential to remember that change does not happen directly. Over time, your offenders will come to realize that their disrespect does not affect you. Maintain your strength and focus throughout this process. I encourage you to watch this video until the end, as the final lesson holds particular significance. Maintain your calm. When confronted with disrespect, staying composed can help avoid making things worse and contributing to negativity. Instead, you can opt to rise above the negativity and react in a way that promotes healing and mutual understanding. Remember, the other person's actions often come from their own insecurities and misconceptions. So, by choosing kindness and empathy, you can de-escalate the situation and promote a positive transformation. Engage in self-reflection. In times of conflict, taking a moment for self-reflection can prove to be a potent tool for resolving disagreements in a constructive way. This entails examining your own motivations and actions and considering how they may have contributed to the current situation. Through this introspection, you can identify areas for personal growth and development and make appropriate adjustments. Furthermore, reflecting on your core values can serve as a guiding principle for making decisions and taking action when confronted with disrespect. Take a moment and don't rush to respond right away. When faced with disrespect, it's common to react emotionally without thinking about the outcomes. Yet, if you take a breath and wait before replying, it allows you to think more clearly and respond in a calmer, more thoughtful manner. By postponing your reaction until you've had a chance to collect your thoughts, you can steer clear of saying or doing things that might make the situation worse or cause more harm. Use humor or simply smile. Employing humor or wearing a smile can diffuse tension and prevent a situation from escalating into something overly serious. At times, when we take matters too seriously, we can become entangled in our emotions and lose sight of the broader perspective. By employing humor or maintaining a positive outlook, we can shift the focus away from negativity, fostering a more tranquil atmosphere for communication. Naturally, it's crucial to ensure that our use of humor doesn't come across as disrespectful or dismissive of the other person's feelings. Respond with rationality, not emotions. When confronted with disrespect, the temptation to react with anger or frustration may arise, but this only fans the flames. Instead, centering our response around virtues such as wisdom and courage can assist us in approaching the situation with a clear mind, responding logically rather than emotionally. By exemplifying wisdom, we can uncover inventive solutions to the issue at hand, while courage empowers us to assert ourselves and communicate effectively, regardless of any fear or anxiety we may experience. Responding virtuously requires practice, yet it can lead to more effective and gratifying outcomes in challenging circumstances. Welcome acceptance into your life. It's an important part of growing and becoming a better person. Acceptance helps us let go of unrealistic expectations and the habit of comparing ourselves to others. Instead, it helps us focus on our own unique journey and progress. Embracing acceptance means understanding that we can't control how others act or react, but we have the power to control our own responses and attitudes toward them. When we learn to accept people and situations without judging or resisting them, we can cultivate inner peace and happiness that isn't dependent on external factors. 
This way we can respond to disrespect with poise and calmness, rather than with anger or resentment. Practice empathy. This serves as a potent instrument for constructing bridges and challenging relationships. Through practicing empathy, we can strive to comprehend situations from the other person's perspective, understanding why they might behave disrespectfully. It is essential to bear in mind that everyone faces their unique struggles and difficulties, and sometimes their conduct arises from a place of pain or confusion. Exercising compassion for their ignorance can enable us to approach the situation with kindness and patience, even if we do not agree with their choices or actions. This does not signify disrespectful behavior, but rather seeking to grasp its underlying causes and responding with love and understanding. Set clear boundaries. It's a crucial part of taking care of yourself and showing self-respect. This means being aware of what you're willing to accept and not accept in your life and letting others know your limits. Being the mountain means staying strong and unwavering when faced with challenges. Just like a mountain remains tall and firm, even when strong winds blow, we can learn to stay true to ourselves and our values, even in the face of disrespectful behavior from others. When we set clear boundaries and stick to our beliefs, we show others that we won't allow them to push us around or manipulate us. At the same time, it helps us respect ourselves, our needs, and our desires, which is the foundation for healthy relationships with others. Nine, consider forgiveness. Forgiveness is often seen as a sign of strength, not weakness. It doesn't mean you're endorsing or ignoring the pain caused by someone else's disrespect. Instead, it means choosing to let go of negative emotions like anger, resentment, and bitterness. By releasing these emotions, we free ourselves from their hold and can focus on healing and moving forward. Forgiveness doesn't mean becoming a doormat or allowing others to mistreat us. Instead, it empowers us to respond to disrespect with compassion and assertiveness, seeking justice and fairness without letting hatred or grudges consume us. This path may take time and effort, but in the end, it leads to inner peace and the ability to build stronger, more meaningful relationships based on mutual respect. 10. Alter your perspective. Adopting a higher vantage point and a more comprehensive outlook can assist us in navigating challenging situations with increased clarity and composure. It involves stepping back from the immediate moment and contemplating the broader context acknowledging that everything and everyone eventually undergo change and pass. This shift in perspective aids in avoiding becoming entangled in feelings of vengeance or anger, prompting us instead to respond with wisdom and compassion. It also reminds us that material possessions, power, and transient pleasures are fleeting and not worth excessively attaching ourselves to, as they can divert us from our ultimate objectives and purpose. By embracing this mindset, we can focus on cultivating inner virtues, such as compassion, humility, and wisdom, which hold far more value and permanence. In summary, managing disrespect can be challenging, yet it is attainable with grace and composure by adhering to the 10 valuable principles of Stoicism, including maintaining serenity, introspection, pausing before reacting, employing humor, focusing on wisdom and courage, embracing acceptance and empathy, setting clear boundaries, opting for forgiveness, and altering your perspective. These capabilities will enable you to capture inner strength and resilience, allowing you to constructively address disrespect, assert your rights, rectify any harm inflicted upon you, and retain your dignity and self-worth. It's important to understand that building inner strength and resilience requires commitment and hard work. It involves facing your flaws, learning to manage your emotions, developing positive habits, and seeking guidance from mentors and role models. But the rewards are worth it as they allow you to lead a satisfying life filled with happiness, 
love, and purpose. So, the next time you encounter disrespect, remember these 10 lessons and apply them in your response. With each passing day, you'll become stronger, wiser, and better prepared to tackle any challenges that come your way, whether they are internal or external. Eventually, you'll realize that you have the power to overcome any obstacle. As Epictetus once said, some things are in our control and others are not. The things in our control are opinion, pursuit, desire, aversion, and in a word, whatever depends on our will. Take charge of your thoughts and actions and let your journey towards inner strength and resilience begin. If you watch the video until the end, please comment, Inner Wisdom. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.